Hey, what's up, YouTube? DeLorean Fan back here, part two of my automotive uh, 118 scale diecast collection. Uh, these are my undoubtedly best and or favorite ones, and each one has a little story of their own. So let's get right into it. Uh, this is going to sound weird, goofy, I don't give a flying frick what you care. Uh, what I'm about to say, they rarely, if ever, come out of their boxes, so it is frankly a real treat for anyone to see these. Alright, so that being said, let's get started. Uh, several years ago, like 05 or 06, um, for those of you that watch the program or know who I'm talking about, uh, Chip Foose from Overhauling was uh, here in Omaha uh, as part of an autograph signing, and I bought this teeny little model for 10 bucks. Got to walk up on stage, got a few pictures, shook his hand, uh, and chatted with him for a minute or two. Obviously, there were like 400 people behind me, and the line was growing, so I uh, had to move along. I asked him, I told him one of his cars, and it was, you know, I wasn't BSing him, that the car uh, called the Grandmaster was one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen. Uh, hopefully, if I could use this software right that came with us, I'll edit in a little quick little picture of it. Um, and I asked him a question, and I said, well, you know, as... I would love to do what he does as long as other, or as well as other people like him and uh, Boyd Coddington, rest in peace, and Troy Topanier and other guys. Uh, what, what advice would you give to someone who wanted to get into your industry? He looked me dead in the eyes and he said, follow your heart. That's all I can tell you. And then he said something that will stick with me for the rest of my life. He said, do not let anyone talk you into building a car that you wouldn't build because after all that's your name on it end quote and I will never forget that so here's what I got uh, this is they only built like a, a hundred of these at most in full I mean you know IRL in real life uh, I haven't seen one yet but these things are sick uh, they're like hardly three and a half four feet tall giant wheels all around and the engine is under a cover, and yes, it is autographed by the man, no less, Chip Foose. Uh, so it was definitely a one in a million chance to meet him, dare I say. Um, overhaul, and I think has all been canceled or done and over with, so uh, he probably won't be in on uh, any kind of a circuit, uh, so, you know, so to speak. So it was definitely a, a treat to meet the man as well as uh, get his um, amazing autograph. Um, very talented in automotive design, and uh, for those of you guys in the automotive world, uh, the Prowler, which looks a lot like this with the, his first uh, design for Chrysler, so uh, he kind of started there, so that's really cool to have that. Uh, next, I uh, got this for Christmas several years back from my now X uh, GF, but still one of my favorite cars of all time the 1967 gt 500 e aka eleanor from gone in 60 seconds with nicholas cage um this was like a 60 80 dollar model and she got it for me for christmas so thank you and just hopefully if we can see it just amazing detail including even the plug wires uh, as well as the what uh, for those of you who've seen the movie the NOS system uh, hoses and stuff there's a focus in and if you could see in there it's got the uh, infamous uh, you know, I don't think it'll pan in or zoom or but whatever but it does have the uh, infamous or famous go baby go shifter in there when uh, Nick Cage hits the NOS button and uh, outruns the helicopter and the aqueduct so that's uh, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, quick story, the same ex uh, that I referred to, we went to a car show in Des Moines, and wouldn't you know it, I hear this just throaty rumble, sound almost like a stock car, and then just out of my corner, my eye just peered silver and black and pulled right up next to us on the road, full throttle was an actual Eleanor. Hung, we we kind of we kind of zoomed along with it as best we could. We were just sitting there. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road. She's just we're both gat mouthed and drooling. And then uh, 
wouldn't you know lo and behold uh, the guy that was driving downshifted the revs went through the roof and he was just gone in a throaty thunder and it was the, one of the aside from um, being passed in the opposite direction many many years ago by a Ferrari that's about one of my biggest automotive memories so that's really cool so thank you to the X for that one Next, you guys can almost imagine I have one of these. Uh, the uh, There's like three or four versions. There's this, there's the regular, there's a little more detailed, slightly more expensive one, and then there's a gold version of one of only three golds ever made in real life. But we have the DeLorean Time Machine. It's the, it's in the movie from part two version, the hover conversion uh, mode, or whatever you want to call it. Um, story behind this is uh, if we can open the gold wing door without leaving a fingerprint here. Come on. There we go. It won't stay open because it doesn't have a gas strut like in the movies, but uh, as you can see, it's got the fully fluid gold wing doors and the stain actual stainless steel as opposed to die cast. So, uh, um, it does leave fingerprints like crazy. I've had to clean the thing four or five times before I put it back into its holder, but whatever. Uh, where was I? Oh, the story behind this is, uh, this was a, um, my best friend in the whole world. Um, I was a groomsman in his wedding, um, some odd years ago, got clear back in 02 or 03, and this was, um, uh, the, I don't know, wedding party gifts, I guess you want to call it, uh, to me, um, what Tim and his, um, girlfriend and or fiance and now obviously still to this day wife gave me as part of being a part of the wedding party so thank you Dave and Tess I still have it and never getting rid of it so uh, definitely obviously my automotive namesake as far as YouTube is concerned and definitely one of my favorites and now last but not least um, the I 19, uh, I want to see 48, but I want to say, yeah, 47 or 48, uh, Tucker. They made 51 of these. Uh, they also made a movie about it um, called Tucker, A Man in His Dream with Jeff Bridges. Um, check it out. It's a really pretty good uh, bio. We're kind of um, yeah, a lot of liberties, of course, with any kind of uh, movie of that nature, but uh, a good movie nonetheless. Uh, it is... A rear engine and it's like some kind of I'm not sure I didn't do my research but it's some form of a helicopter engine if you can believe that we got the fitted luggage set up front a very kind of fancy car for the day as most boats were back then and uh, they uh, of course now only f I don't know 40 50 years later are we getting this technology and I believe the Lexus uh, is the only one that comes to mind the uh, center light uh, turns in the same direction as the uh, the steering wheel to kind of light your path a little better so um, there are numerous I'll be honest with you I don't know early offhand but there are other numerous functions like that that um, this obviously clear back in the 40s or early 50s was the first to have it and just now funneling into the 2000s so um way ahead of its time uh and like i said there's only 51 made you you know even seeing one as a treat let alone one coming up for auction i don't know what the last one sold for um uh there's a director i think francis ford coppola uh, who did all the gangster movies and stuff. I think he owns like two or two or three of them. Just kind of crazy. But uh, the story behind this, um, um, obviously um, very special to me. It was given to me some years back by my now departed grandmother. It's amazing uh, how little you talk to some people. I mean, it's not like I didn't have a relationship with her. But, uh, you know things and hobbies and that really didn't come up much but uh, this was a Christmas present from her one year and uh, it was just a plain brown box had no writing on it and I opened up and there was this beautiful Tucker so uh, it was uh, a really nice treat and uh, we lost her last February so it's uh, definitely none of these are ever going anywhere guys but um, especially these last four of course so uh, thank you grandma we love you we miss you I love you, we all miss you, so uh, very detailed. So guys, 
Uh, just another angle or a little part of my life here in a little bit of a nutshell. Sorry for the poor lighting once again. Just kind of do a quick breeze through. I got a lot of cleaning and sorting to do, and some of these could actually use a cleaning in of themselves. A little bit of dust on them, but um, I had to pack these up in a hurry the last time I was uh, ever vested in these, so to speak. So, guys, um, I forget who it was, whoever a while back did them, I think it was a Monte Carlo vid, and then shortly after that, sick to fur, what up Chris, uh, showed his Camaro, um, and then uh, kind of quote unquote what's in our garage, um, uh, if you're expecting me to dash outside and show you any one of these, uh, actually my garage, qu uh, keep dreaming, but we all cross our fingers and hope one day, um, <laughs> You know, the crazy thing is not one damn thing here. The, probably the most affordable one would be the, um, they go for 15 or 20 used. The uh, um, T-Bird, everything else is, the, well, I guess the GTO, I guess they found like a one in bad restoration, four or four or five grand. But uh, I think we all know which one I'm dreaming of the most. And that's right, roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. If you're gonna build a time machine out of a car, why not do it with some style? Alright guys, later.